Hello everyone, welcome to Chinmoy's YouTube channel again. So again here I am with a sample set of question papers. This is reproductive system part 2. So I have already uh, taught you the reproductive system part 1 sample question papers. Go through it. I am putting the link above. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the updates regularly. So best of luck all for your exams and please do practice all the questions, all the objective papers, all the subjective papers what I am giving you. And um, I have tried my best to do it in a systematic manner. And please uh, practice all the diagrams also which I have posted. Go through each and every link which I am posting so that you can get uh, overall revision of all the lessons. Okay, so let us start with today's episode. Now, let us start with the first question. Now, give the scientific term for the following. Now, the first one is release of ovum from the ovary. What is it called? It is called ovulation. The second one is the onset of menstrual cycle in females. Now, it is called menarch. So, is it clear? So, uh, why at the time of birth, the testes descend into the scrotal sac? So, what is the reason of this? The testes actually develop in the abdominal cavity near the kidneys, but they migrate to the scrotum shortly before the or after at the time of birth because the sperm development occurs optimally at temperatures which is a few degrees below the body temperature. So, the, if the testes are within the body, the sperm development will not happen. So, the, uh, the, the testes should be present in a sac which should be outside the body. So, for that, the testes descend outside the body which is just below the normal body temperature of 37 degrees centigrade. So, this is the reason why at the time of birth, the testes descend into the scrotal sac. Now, here we will start with another question that give the functions of the following. That is, first is the sperm tail. What is the function of sperm tail? The tail provides sperm movement. So, the main function, the tail's primary function is the sperm motility. So, other than that, what is it doing? It is, it is actually, it whips and undulates so that the cell will travel the egg so towards the egg, the traveling towards the egg is also due to the whipping of the tail. Now following the gamete deposition within the female degenerative uh, tract and the activation of tail. So this is also one main function of the sperm tail. So let us move on to the next function that is acrosome. So the acrosome actually what is it? It is present at the anterior end of the elongated nucleus. So this we all have done when we have studied about the uh, the structure of the male reproductive system. Please go to that lesson also where I have taught you the male reproductive structure. Now here I am uh, giving the details of the function of acrosome that is it is derived from the Golgi apparatus. The acrosome contains the proteolytic enzymes such as hyaluronidase and acrosin. These help the sperm to penetrate the zona pellucida layer of the ovum. So the hyaluronidase enzyme uh, and acrosin are the proteolytic enzymes which are present we have uh, told now and these are helping the sperm what to do the penetrate the zona pellucida layer of the ovum and thus entering the cytoplasm of the ovum so that the nucleus of the sperm and the ovum can fuse and here the fusion happens. So fusion is happening and the zygote is formed after this uh, this uh, penetration of the sperm into the ovum is happening and the uh, both the nucleus of the sperm and the ovum they fuse. So fusion is happening and the zygote formation is happening here only. So these are the main functions of acrosome. Now let us see here rewrite the following terms in the in the uh, correct order. So we all have discussed this earlier that what are the correct uh, sequence of these phases of menstrual cycle. So first we will take the menstrual phase. Second we are taking the follicular phase. Third one is the ovulatory phase and last is the luteal phase. So in correct order how we can write? We can write one, we can write two here, we can write the third or the ovulatory phase and fourth one is the luteal phase. Okay, is it clear? Now next one, differentiate on the basis of the, the nature of secretion between the prostate and the cowper's gland. So both are the glands of male reproductive system. Till now we are thorough with all the glands of male reproductive system. So how is it? Uh, what are the differences? Nature of secretion, the prostate gland, it surrounds the proximal part of the urethra and the prostatic secretion, it activates the sperm and provides nutrition. Okay, and the cowper's gland, what is it doing? It is present on the base of the prenis. 
and it is secreting mucus like substance which lubricates the frictionless movement of the penis so this is what is happening when you are differentiating between the prostate and the cowper's gland this is activating the sperm and this is producing the mucus substance which lubricates the frictionless movement of the penis okay is it clear so let us go to the next one now here they have given you the identification of this system this is a very common system you all know and with labeling i have told you to practice the diagram previously so identify the system you know it is a female reproductive system and we can say that this reproductive system uh, from 1 to 7 just label its parts from 1 to 7 7 level the parts and name two hormones which are secreted from this one so this one is ovary we all know so the main hormones are we can say that estrogen and progesterone are the main important hormones okay so estrogen and progesterone are the main hormones which are secreted from the female reproductive system this ovary we can say and uh, this identification of the system is this is the reproductive system in female or female reproductive system so you can write it is female reproductive system and uh, label its parts you just go through your textbook and you just know what are the main parts of this female reproductive system just label them 1 to 7 and then uh, write the name of these two hormones so is it clear to all now let us move on to the next one now here uh, this question is the study the diagram and answer the questions that follow so name the system the system name of the system is male reproductive system we all know this this is male reproductive system and uh, now let us move on to the second question what is it that is state the function and label the part marked by marked 1 and 2 so the first part is the what is the first part that is the seminal vesicle try to recall it that is seminal vesicle and the second part is the seminiferous tubules is it clear so this one is the seminiferous tubule now they have told you what is the significance of part lab part labeled 5 this is the scrotum or the scrotal sac so this is the scrotum or the scrotal sac so you all know the function i have already told you earlier uh, what is the function of the scrotal sac or the scrotum go through that uh, slide go through that and uh, you just write the function of this and you all know the function of this seminal vesicle and the seminiferous tubule so please do practice a lot whatever i have taught you go through my updates go through my videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the updates so this is all full reproductive system uh, and a few other systems are left so i'll be back soon with other systems which are left for icc exams so till then best of luck and keep on studying your lessons uh, properly thank you